Hello Nuggets. Okay, wanted to talk a little bit, uh, it's a later video today, I've already done my writing session. Um, and uh, I didn't do a video this morning because I couldn't think what to talk about. But then I did my writing and I have something to talk about. Uh, so what happened today was I went to, I tried a different cafe yesterday and it didn't work out. So I'm back to Panera Bread. The food is so bad. I don't know. But they do Diet Coke which wakes me up in the morning and it's not packed which i like and the internet is fast it used to be slow but they've sped it up and it's uh it's just simple it's my kind of people <laughs> you know i went to this other cafe the other day and it was filled with kind of middle class angry millennials i don't know it just wasn't me i don't have anything against millennials it sounds terrible even the word the way i say the word sounds like i do though but it wasn't whatever it wasn't me um so i went to panera today I didn't have anything to say on the video, so I thought, ah, something will come, and it did. So I'm writing, goes really well, I'm working on the treatment, I'm right near the end of the treatment, uh, I get to a little bit of a stumbling block, and I'm like, okay, I don't know what to do here, I need to go to the bathroom, uh, I think I'll just pack it up and I'll go home and it will come to me. So I get up, I put my laptop in my bag, I go to the bathroom, as I'm walking out the door, Panera, an idea hits me, to solve the problem that I was thinking about. And I was literally at the top of the stairs to walk down the parking lot to go to my car. And I realized in that moment that I was in that moment. Like I was suddenly very self-aware. And th this isn't what I said in my, he in my head because it happens too fast. But if you could have slowed it down like a YouTube video and given it a director's comedy, uh, comedy, <laughs> it was, a director's commentary it would have been what are you doing Adam there is a choice you can make here which choice are you going to make you can walk away from this moment get back in your car and you'll be okay you'll be satisfied but there'll be a little bit of you that says you had an idea and you could have followed through so what are you going to do and often I think when we're not feeling motivated and we're not feeling um assured and determined uh the easy path wins which would be to get into my heart, uh, my car and come home and do what something else you know and i might have got back to that writing you know in fact i almost certainly would have done but i don't know if it would have been the same but what i did do was in that moment i stopped and i turned around and i and i sat down and i pulled my laptop out and i wrote again for another hour and I felt so good. <laughs> I felt so good at that end of the hour because I solved that little problem. I wrote, it was only another paragraph that I wrote, but I wrote a paragraph and I went, okay, I'm done. I closed my laptop, put it in my bag and I drove home. But I feel that those tiny, tiny moments, and you hear this so much from motivational speakers, it's those tiny decisions that make such a difference. If you can catch yourself in that moment, I know it's true with my food addiction, and it's probably true with any problem that anyone has. That tiny decision, don't look at it as a massive decision like I've got a, and I'm talking to myself here obviously, but I, I need to stop looking at things like a massive decision, like I have to lose weight, I've got to lose 100 pounds, I've got to work out every day, I need to walk for four miles instead of three miles every day, and then five miles instead of four miles, you know. Instead of seeing it as those massive decisions, what I need to do is, I need to put my shoes on, <laughs> right? And then once I put my shoes on is, I need to stand up and get my keys. And then I need to put the leashes on the dogs. And then I need to open the door and walk out the door with the dogs. And then when I'm on the walk, I need to not turn left here because that's the direction I turn to go home. I need to walk straight on because then that just added a quarter mile to my journey. It's those things. I need to not walk down these steps that lead to my car. I need to turn left and sit down at that table and open my laptop. Because if I can recognize that moment, that decision is small and very manageable. It's when you, you, you kind of let the easy decision win when it's really not a hard decision to make. That's laziness. 
That's what it is. And I have so much laziness in me. It's so easy for my laziness to win. You know, you, you, I think I frame it as the bigger picture to, to let myself off the hook and say like, well, writing's hard and I'm going through something and it's, you know, that's the big picture stuff. In that moment, the decision to sit down and write wasn't a momentous achievement. It was just an easy fucking decision. It's not hard to do. Just turn around, sit down and write. The result of it is bigger than that, though. And so I think that's the thing I need to... I would, I would love to have that skill and I would really have, love to be able to catch myself in that moment more often in my life, in everything. When I'm having an argument when I'm, or when I'm just having a conversation with someone or when I'm observing something, you know, I think a lot of successful people I've noticed, however you determine success to be, they tend to be very aware very present i'm i I think i am a present person but but they're they're able to frame their thoughts and be very on the ball at that moment and i think it's an awareness of the decisions they have my dogs are going crazy right now wow someone's attacking the house this might be my last video log i think it's an awareness of their thought process in that moment that makes the difference uh, and that's why they get up and go to the gym. That's why they're really good in that business meeting. Uh, that's why they're really good when they wake up in the morning and they start writing. It's that tiny little decisions, those tiny decisions made over and over and over again. So it happened to me today and I want it to keep happening. Um, it's why I made this video right now. I'm like, should I make that video? Because honestly, I didn't really want to make a video today. But I'm like, no, you said you'd do it every day. You have an idea. Do it right now. Um, getting things done. Read that. Just Google it right now if you don't. If something could be done in five minutes or less or two minutes or less, I don't know what the actual rule is, do it right now. It's a great thing. I used to do it when I worked professionally in uh, gaming studios. It's an awesome way to run your life. It really works. Um, but it's the same principle idea. If it's something small and you can do it, do it right now. It leads to bigger things. All right. That was it. Just wanted to get it out. All right, you little nuggets. Have a wonderful day. Bye.